Uh, I haven't been speaking much. This is basically my third time speaking. What I would like to do is start speaking more, giving more awareness of basic health. What I'm also going to be doing is developing a book, and that's going to be Next Gen Health Education, hopefully helping educate high schoolers before they graduate, giving them the basic guidelines for nutrition, also resist training, cardio, anything like that. Everyone comes, to, well I've been a fitness professional at Experience Fitness for over seven years, so I've sat in front of a lot of people. It's crazy how many people do not know the basic stuff, or what's bad, what's not. Um, so, everyone can, everyone can understand like the food industry now is pretty toxic, a lot of preservatives, antibiotics, a lot of crap in the foods that are just affecting a lot of people in the, in the community. What, what we want to do is educate these younger individuals when, I guess they're going to be more motivated to actually listen because when are, when are you the uh, most, uh, I guess, uncomfortable about your body? When you're young, right? You want to look good when you're young. You're a teenager, you got those hormones going, so might as well teach them something, giving them an incentive to listen, okay? Teaching them food, nutrition, supplements. Supplements. Does anyone here even know why multivitamins are important? No one? Okay, so, okay, so, a lot of people know why multivitamins are important for long term. If, if you're deficient in certain vitamins and minerals, you're going to have issues with diseases. You're going to have things like even autoimmune diseases, okay? There are studies out there that are starting to look back at what's causing these autoimmune diseases, okay? But why is the multivitamin important right now? If you're trying to lose weight, lose body fat, gain lean body mass, why is it important right now? Hormones. If you're deficient in certain vitamins or minerals, your hormones are going to be messed up. You're not going to get that far in the gym. You're going to be wasting time. So what I want to do is give the community a lot more time by delivering the knowledge and giving them a lot more awareness. So let's get to resistance training. Does, all right, majority of women don't want to do weight training. Do you, don't think that they're going to get bald okay. Did you know the only way to lose body fat is to build an engine? If you think of your muscles are the engine, the bigger the engine, the more feel okay. The faster the fuel is going to burn. Okay. How are you going to lose body fat? Build that engine to burn, right? So resist training, weight training is going to help with that. Now, if you're cardiovascular, we know why cardio is important. If you're looking to lose body fat, there you go. But we want to make sure we're at that target range. If you're used to keeping it above like a certain percentage where you're at burn, you're not going to actually burn effectively in that time. What we can do is actually manipulate your heart rate right at the side of those points to help you burn body fat more efficiently in that time and before you get out of the after. So giving the community a little more knowledge, a little more control of their life is going to be what I'll be doing from here on out. I'll be doing a lot more speaking events. I will be doing speaking events, uh, hopefully with a lot of gyms, uh, anyone that is looking to take advantage of my, my knowledge. So instead of going one-on-one -on -one with anyone uh, at the gym, <coughs> I would rather be able to talk in front of a lot of people and get a the knowledge.